Well, folks, welcome back, everybody. This is Rudy with Alpha Investments, and thank you for tuning in. Yes, folks, you heard it right. The very last Throne of Eldraine box opening video on the channel. I know, it's been a long journey. We've opened approximately 70 booster boxes of Throne on the channel, and this is it. This is the grand finale to end all Throne of Eldraine box openings, folks. My patron, Will O. Will, thank you for being patient. You're the last one. This is it. This is the home stretch, folks. No further throne box openings. We are going to be retiring the product on the channel. And moving forward, this is it. So thanks for tuning in today. We're going to talk about the magic world, the impact of everything. Crack our last couple boxes and see if we can get a good, good, solid kind of uh, finale. Grand finale here, everybody. It's been a great ride. I am very, very happy. Boom! Gilded Goose Pack 1. And a beautiful lady is going to save us all. What a dude. Great start, Will. Um, you know, that's, you know, it's been a heck of a ride. And um, I think I'm hoping for a really nice video to really end this on a really good, kind of a good conclusion here. I was a huge fan of Throne. The product did great. Had a lot of problems during the Christmas time when the product, remember, we, they ran out of Throne. And stores didn't have anything for the holidays. People got angry. We remember that. And now, of course, we're going, we're all living through the Corona crash of 2020. Emery. And a foil rare. Fires of Invention. Not the greatest. And here we are in this brand new era. Where I've never seen so much negativity and pessimism in my entire 36 years of being alive on this planet, folks. This is probably the most unbelievable negative time I've ever seen in my life. People are literally saying the world is ending. While I do believe we will make it through, life will continue on, and I think magic will survive, and so will all of you. Boom! Garouk for the nice, nice mythic number one, folks. Very, this is a nice ending here, everybody. This is great. I do believe we have the ability to stand the test of time, everyone. I think magic will hold up. Anyone who says everything's crashing, going to go to zero. You just, you don't have the belief that I believe in magic, the people, the world, and everything. Robber of the Rudy, Mythic number two, very nice. Um, I don't know if you're watching this video before or after. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you're watching this in uh, March or April, but just remember, if you're, whoa, nice old dwarven mine. If you're watching in March, you have a day or so left to pretty much, uh, if you want to be a patron, support me. If you're watching in April, I appreciate the views. I am no longer accepting any patrons. Nice little tree, folks, showcase. And that is it. So uh, I'm not sure when this video is going to go live. Just want to let everybody know, obviously, if April's already rolled over, I appreciate everybody. We will stay the course. And unfortunately, um, no further patrons are allowed and will be accepted. And that is that, folks. Uh, if you're in, still in March, you know, please consider supporting. If you want to lock in long term and uh, talk to finance and things like that privately, or if you want to buy cheap stuff, or you just like what I do, your choice. Of course, if you're going through tough times and you are one of the people whose their job is laid off and uh, don't support, don't buy any magic, just enjoy the video. Stay home, stay safe is the best thing you can do, everybody. Midnight clock and some screaming veterans on a horse for an uncommon. So that's where we're at. Now that we got all this stuff out of the way, what's going on? Um, I just want to update everybody on Wizards of the Coast. Also, Hush Money and some uh, Raiders with the old uh, common, common Goblin Warriors. I want to update everybody on Wizards of the Coast. Uh, as of the filming of this video, Wizards of the Coast remains completely closed. Uh, pretty soon, eventually, I am just going to run out of standard boxes because I can't get any more. Uh, I try to keep a thousand boxes of every standard set available, but... Obviously, as time goes on, it's going to be dwindling down since I, you know, can't order anything because everything's closed. So, um, the beauty thing is I have enough inventory of Magic and Magic's history where I can just swap over to start selling vintage and different things, out-of-print stuff, run sales. Great Henge. Very nice. This is a solid box. Every Will, this is not a bad... This is stable, man. Three good Mythics. We got a... I think what did we get at the beginning? Gilded Goose. Nice little Love Struck Beast showcase frame. This is a solid video for only halfway through the first box. Very nice. So that's where we're at, folks. Um, just a friendly reminder, that does not mean Throne of Eldraine and these other standard products are out of print. Do not confuse that. Don't take anything out of context. Don't be mean and silly. Um, it just means that, you know, the product is not shipping. So distributors don't have product. The ones that are open don't have product. Obviously, distributors are closed. Don't matter in some parts of the country. And which means... You know, just because I can't get any product or sell any, and I'm going to start running out, 
um, does not mean that it's out of print. Don't get dramatic. Don't overbuy. Don't do anything. Take your time. These are all products that are going to be available. Throne of Eldraine is going to be available to the patrons for $79.99 shipped. You know, for another 6 to 12 months. It's going to be a very, very long time, everybody. Very nice murderous writer. Great rare. So don't FOMO. You know, save your money. Don't overspend right now. Don't act like you're going to miss out. You know, magic is not going to skyrocket. Nothing dramatically is going to change. So be very patient and uh, make sure you don't overspend. That is very, very critical right now. Whether it's buying magic on eBay, buying through me, buying anywhere. Just save your money. That is very important right now because we don't know. And I know everybody keeps talking about, oh, two weeks, everything's going to be over and quarantine. We're going to go back to normal and all the. I don't know what the deal is. A lot of people keep making comments like that, and I respectfully disagree. I don't think in a week or so of this video, which is going to be like April 5th, I just don't think everything's just going to magically go back to normal. Weird. There's just too many issues out there. We're in for a prolonged recession. I don't care what anyone says. This is not going to be a 30-day thing. So, you, ah, of course, it wouldn't be Throne of Eldraine if we didn't get the flippin' Outlaw Mythic as every other stupid Throne of Eldraine Mythic bit. Why? It drives me crazy. That card irritates me. It is the most common mythic ever. And Preserver and a Love Struck Beast. Non-showcase. Regular frame. So that is our second foil rare. Not the greatest again. That Outlaw card, I'm telling you. Even if it was a good card, it'll never go up because there's so many out there. It drives me crazy. Giant Killer. So... Um, just want to update everybody on that. Obviously, everybody already knows Akoria has been delayed. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they keep delaying it. Hey, Cauldron of Attorney in the close. Five Mythic Box. Very nice. So, Challenger decks. Hey, at least those came out at the end of March. And uh, at least most of them, one or two distributors are closed. They can't ship. But everybody else, the uh, other distributors, are shipping and open. So, I'm actually shipping all those out for all the patrons. That's very cool. Uh, that is also sold out and over with now, now that you're watching this video. But, yeah, was, I'm very happy. At least we're able to... Uh, Actually enjoy that new product. If, hey, if you're staying home with friends and family, dude, Challenger decks. Pre-built, fun decks. You can just pop out of the box and enjoy. Great, great product. All right, bacon to pie. So that's our box one. What do you guys think? Five Mythics, pretty good. A couple decent rares. We did not hit a Fabled Passage or an Oko, though. That's my only, uh, that's my main complaint on the Throne box one. But I tell you what, you know, double foil rare box. Not the greatest foil rares, but at least we got it. Um... So I'm going to call that box like about a 6 or 7 out of 10. Not a home run, but it's solid. I swear that outlaw, I swear the thing isn't it. It's like almost like a troll mythic. I swear, it's almost like in the uh, Innistrad era, or uh, Eldritch Moon, when they had that, um, the tree. It was a tree of perdition tree. Of hey, Brazen Borrower! Why do I always forget about that card? It's like the most expensive mythic in the set. Brazen, right out of the gate, pack one. That, folks. Is how you start your last box of Throne of Eldraine, everyone. And the old castle, not bad. Yeah, I'm going to miss this set. I really enjoyed opening this. Like, I enjoyed this more than I did War of the Spark. It just has such an enjoyable, just consistent, and just the variety. Just it, it just feels nice to open. It's a fun product. The cards are creative. It's got unique mechanics and artwork. Of course. Of course. You got to troll me in the clothes. There we go again. Look at these little guys. <sighs> two outlaws in the last one in every last two boxes. We would get the same stupid mythic, Pyromancer. Drives me crazy, everybody. Doesn't that drive you guys crazy? Will, I hope you like that card. Or every other patron I opened a video and they everybody gets a stupid mythic. I don't like that card. Clackety Bridge Troll. Well, that's where we are, folks. Um, like I said, I expect Aquaria to be continuously delayed and pushed back because I think it's going to take many months for things to go back to normal. Um, I just want—I just want to make sure it's very clear that people understand. You know, during this shutdown period, all these standard boxes, everything. Don't expect returns or growth or investment positive stuff in Magic and anything. It's just not going to happen. I'm not going to lie to you and say, "Oh, put all your money in standard boxes. Buy my boxes." Hey, Fabled Passage, finally. We did get one in the very last box. Awesome. But uh, just remember that, Vera. Don't, don't turn around and just max out boxes and buying and everything. I don't recommend buying unless you just want to enjoy the product right now. You're going to have plenty of time to get the product before it goes out of print. You know, Core 20 is going to be around. Usually Core sets don't start getting slim pickings until the following year Core set comes out. Beautiful Witch's Cottage. So keep that in mind. Until Core 2021 20, comes out... Core 2020 will still be readily available. 
I hope that makes sense. I'm hoping I said that right. Like, so it doesn't really, core sets operate a little bit differently than standard sets. As long as, like I said, as long as the core set is, um, there's not a new, why is the camera being weird? As long as the core set doesn't get all crazy, um, or they run out early, looking at you, Dominaria, flipping drove everybody crazy when that happened. You guys remember that? Um, you know, usually core sets operate on year to year basis where standard sets are a little bit different because of the way they, uh, they print and how they supply and stock them and all that fun stuff. So anyways, just wanted to share that particular moment. Another love struck beast. This is our third one in this video. Bone Crusher Giant. So weird to see it from the original framing because you get so used to seeing certain showcase, uh, framing that when you see the originals, you're like, oh, that's the original frame. Piper of the Swarm and Creepy Chick. Ah, good riddance, Throne. I'm really going to miss you. I know a lot of people out there is like, I'm tired of Throne. I don't care about it. Everybody says that. Harmonious Archon for the Mythic number three on a nice weapon rack. It's funny. Everybody always says that with standard sets. Where by the time, you know, a couple months goes by, you're kind of like, ah, I'm over it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to open it. Everybody just kind of gets very blah on it. Castle Vantress. And then, you know, a year or two later it goes by and people go back and go, oh, Rudy. Can we open Throne of El Drain or War of the Spark? It's just kind of funny how life works that way. You know, we're all wired to only appreciate the hot, new, hyped-up thing. And then we get over things very quickly because we're wired to move on and kind of jump to the next best thing. So it's kind of a weird psychological thing that, I don't know, I feel like the wizards and all the companies kind of instant gratification. They kind of turned us into that, you know, champion. Um, anyways, that's about it though, folks. That's, that's kind of my most important lessons today where we wrap up this last video. And, uh, I just want to make it very clear that even if I run out of these boxes, because Wizards is temporarily closed, don't worry about it. Sit tight. And then when everything starts flowing again, we'll just kind of, you know, the prices will be the same and all that. Another cauldron. All right, duplicate Mythic City. Look at that. Double Outlaw, double cauldron. Look at that. So I just want to make sure everybody's very clear on that. And I don't recommend buying any standard boxes for investing or anything like that right now because ain't nothing going to go up anytime soon. We are in a just a monster recession slowdown and you are not going to see any growth on anything anytime soon. So keep that in mind, everybody. Oh, we got a nice little Acolyte. Beautiful showcase. Love. I'm glad we got to see that in the last few minutes here. So that's all I got today, folks. That is my main speech on today's discussion on the old box opening, Creepy Prince. And um, I do think, I still think, you know, five plus years from now, people are going to look back on Throne of Eldraine. And it's going to be a very positive thing. Oh, another murderous rider. Gorgeous. And I think right now, I don't think it's, you know, that can be easily said or understood because it doesn't feel that way right now. Another Doom Foretold, really? Um, but I think this is definitely going to be like an, El this reminds me, I think it's going to be a similar to like an Eldritch Moon type thing where you won't see much growth for a while. And then all of a sudden, you're going to wake up one day, and Eldritch Moon sat at $80 a box for years, and then boom, it's almost $200 a box. You know, we have products that do that kind of stuff all the time. First of the lock, a <laughs> nice little goblin fling there in the clothes. And um, that's it. Those are my words of wisdom. Kind of stay calm, everybody. Don't be a hero. Don't try to invest in magic like crazy. Don't go in the stock market and dump your life savings in because it's down. It's down for a reason. It's not going to turn around and just skyrocket back up. You must be patient. These type of downturns, they last a while. They are not quick and concise. You must be very cautious with this kind of stuff, everybody. So I just want to let everybody know that. So, And a Bone Crusher again. Really? What do we got left? Oh, we only got four packs. Wow. So that is it. Will, you were the last box opening, man. You were the last one. Hey, Royal Assassins. Look at that, right in the clothes. I know, it's Scions, but I like to say Assassin. A nice, nice royal right in the clothes. How cool is that, everyone? Very, very neat to see. Murderous Rider and the Showcase. That's our third Murderous Rider in this video. That's pretty cool. Well, you got two solid box openings. Definitely not dumpster fires. Not perfect home runs, but you know what? Not too bad at all. Last pack here. And that is it, folks. Throne of Eldraine is about to say goodbye. So, Will, thank you for being a very kind patron. Be safe out there, everybody. Oh, man. I'll miss you, Throne. It was a good, we had a good time, everybody, in the last few months with Throne. And uh, be safe. And again, as always, everybody, I appreciate the honor and privilege to entertain you all. And hopefully you guys learn some things in between. And uh, remember, we will stand the test of time. Things will move forward. No matter how you feel about the moment, 
Don't underestimate things.